go. Grand Turk. Let's get past all the photographers. Everybody's got to take a picture. That's one thing I don't like. All these cruises is all the pictures. Always got to take all the pictures. No, thank you. No, thank you. I'm good. Thank you. My job won't let me. Yeah, there we go. There's Grand Turk. There you go, Ashley. This is what you see when you get off the boat, girl. It's beautiful. Right across there where you see all those seats and stuff, that's where that's the beach where everybody hangs out at. Where we'll be later on today. And now we're gonna go try to find some kind of little adventure to do, go explore around the island, and then come back and end the day at the beach. Uh, take you along here with me. So we're getting off the ship, as you can see. This massive thing right next to me. Look at the mass of people in front of me. One of my favorite places, Grand Turk, Turks and Caicos. Gotta love it. It's beautiful. What's that? No, if I would have known, I would have. I know. I love me. A little citrus infusion, but uh, we're gonna have to maybe catch it on the way back. That's our cruise director out there dancing, having a good time, trying to save her voice. She wasn't feeling well during the beginning. I believe her name is Erin. And then there's Brian blocking my views. Trying, hating on the vlog world. <laughs> hating on all my vloggers. Loving on it, huh? They don't love our creative art. I just, I want to be part of it. I know, but every time I put my camera there, Nate puts his big old paws right in front of my camera. <laughs> oh, I missed it. On the way back. Right here, as you can see, as we get closer, this is the swimming area. Beautiful. The, the ocean is a different color. Beautiful water. Area. Yeah, isn't that funny? I love it. Honey, over here. The oh, oops. The hell, I am not following the rules. I apologize. They're going to kick me off of the island. I'm going to get voted off survivor style. Go to his house. Let's yeah. watch some videos. I'm throwing up on the 85 inch TV on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> Brian. And Nate is Big Pop. <laughs> it's alright, Nate's a shy guy. It's alright. Actually, he's an undercover Scott spy and he does not want to be on camera, but that's between us. Big welcome to Grand Turk. Of course, the uh, Gotta go through the shops, they always want us to buy something. Got a lot of nice shops here. For sure. Another view of the water over here. One on the other side. Duty free, Grand Turk. Thank you. Then. Big old cannon. My problem. Ain't nothing here we need. Ain't nothing here we need. Hey, look, there's some great offers. 
<laughs> no, here's that white Hennessy I was talking about. Alright. It's a big courtyard. If you already have a uh, you know, Brian and Nate go in front of me here. So typically if you have an excursion, they'll be able to come over here to this side. It's all the carnival excursions, but we're gonna go try to find some random third parties. All right, I'm gonna let you guys go while we go look for some something to do here. Bye. So we gotta build back up. So this is what we got: a golf cart action, six seater. So this is our this is our transportation right here. More to follow. Because I don't know. Here we go. Left side of the road. Creepy as you know what. So Nate Dog is driving. I won't put the camera on him because I don't want him to crash. I won't be distracted. <laughs> Brian's in the back. And all our gear is way back. Six seater golf cart, 60 bucks, right? 60 bucks cash, American dollars. So, not bad. And we get it all day, as long as we want it. So, very cool. What's up? Right now, we're headed towards the lighthouse, bro. Lighthouse. lighthouse. Don't shoot in the back, okay? Yeah, I was gonna say. Should we, should we secure it better or is it good? No, it takes some fast turns. I don't see what could possibly happen. Oh, jeez. Well, this is the fastest the turn is going to be. So. <laughs> yeah. Pretty cool. The car is going to be overtaking you here in a minute. Yeah. I noticed that you have no mirrors. Yes, I cannot see. Couple locals. Jack shaft. Okay, so that's where the jack shaft is. Oh, that he was referring to. He said uh, good place to go get some drinks. What's that say up there? What is that? Yeah, I think so. Oh, they must have been a hard diesel. Oh, the universe is in right here. Yeah. The infrastructure looks amazing. It's not bad. Compared. How about it? Yeah, look at that. <laughs> the stuff that Nate would like to play with. What's up? What's up, tour guide? Yeah, not much to see right now. I'm gonna try to save some battery. I'll come back here later. I feel like there's ocean right there. Uh, Alright, we're back. We're still driving. I had to bring a whole lot of see. How do we get to go that way? Are we going the right way? I think so. This is uh, salt mines. Looks like they got a bunch of salt mines out here. This one was donated to them by Carnival from the North. Salt back or something. But anyway, a lot of salt mines. Say what? Does yeah. overback look like? No. Because if we get out of here, we're going the wrong way. Uh, once we get out, once we miss our turn, we're screwed. So. Yeah. How about the police station?
to ask this guy? Like we said, taking the road back there. Uh, howdy. I know. <laughs> Murphy Alley North. But this might be what you were talking about, Old Town, with all the old buildings. Yeah. It old Town? He said Downtown. I mean, these are wood frame buildings. How old are they? Oh. Get another look at the water. It's gorgeous. And, uh, <laughs> right now, it's just cruising. I'm trying to get to the lighthouse, and we're gonna work our way back. This means you won't die, but you'll just hurt. Get some <laughs> nice road rash. Take out a little bit. Now we might trick some cake of souvenir. Right over on the other side, it's hard to see. It's gorgeous, beautiful water, beautiful colors. Oh, there you go. See it? That's a nice little sneak peek of the water. It's just absolutely gorgeous. Everybody. I think the beach he told us that we can go to snorkel. Oh yeah, look at that. He said that one we can go snorkeling at. Probably one of these type of beaches. We'll get a better look at those beaches later on. Just trying to get up to the lighthouse. He said it's about 25 minutes for us to get up there. So, uh, show me so much water, hopefully. Yeah, I just want to get to that beach. Wow. All right, I'll be back with y'all later. Rooms are awfully low. <laughs> That's true. Especially for a community college. So I wonder if these... Uh... Oh, that guy is... He said just cruising around. Hey, Donkey! Is that flying confidence course kind of thing over there? Uh-huh. Donkey! Don't provoke that. I know. Well, I just said, what's up? There's a car right behind you. Do you know where we can go here? I guess we can find somewhere to park. Where's the lighthouse? Right in front of us. I think you just park anywhere. Some horses over here. Oh, they got some. Emergency assembly point. Yeah. I can just pull up right over there and park. Pretend like you're a car. Oh, you got to pay. I mean, you're two dollars. <laughs> I know, huh? It's like adults, three dollars. Children, two dollars. Cold beer, five dollars. Cold beer, five dollars. Yeah. Free Wi Fi. Free Wi Fi. Uh, all right, hang on, guys. Let's see what's going on here. All right.
Alright, we're up here by the lighthouse. She came out to this area called the Cliffhanger Bar. Nobody here. But, uh, Brian and Nate, ever the explorers, decided to go all the way down towards the water. Go check it out. Coming back up now. Beaches of Turks and Caicos. Definitely a gorgeous island. Right, let's take a walk back over here. See the let's see the lighthouse here a little bit. There it is. The lighthouse up there. that way. Just gotta be careful. A lot of donkeys out here, so gotta watch out for the donkey poo. Still probably, I knew you guys were gonna go exploring down there. <laughs> Did you? Yeah. <laughs> Great. The chocolate tours. Chuck is big out here. They do a lot of tours. Hello. There goes a group of tourists over here as well. I don't know what was that. What is this thing over here? Some kind of bridge. Restored my house. Let's go see what we can find out about this lighthouse. See if there's anything over here on the sign. There you go. Some historical information. Pause there for a little bit. Pause the video if you want to read the whole thing. I think they have a zip line over there. This place as well. Looks like ATV tours. A lot of stuff up here. Oh, there's some more historical information. If you want to read the whole thing, it's probably hard to see. It looks like the lighting is really dark. But anyway, you get the idea. It's a gift shop over here. Then a bar over here where Brian and Nate went to. We we'll meet up with them. There they are, bellied up to the bar. What's it called? Oh, the Lazy Donkey. Perfect. Perfect. Alright guys, talk to you in a bit. So we went off the beaten path here, driving back down. Brian and me love to go off the beaten path. Hopefully we'll make it back up, but in the meantime we'll enjoy this beauty. Show down here. An old dried up conch shell. Beautiful, quiet, lovely out here. So serene. Oh, 
out there. Hmm. It's kind of cool. That was cool, yeah. It looks like the, uh, what is it that uh, we want? we're going to go see the John Glenn thing? <laughs> guys I'm gonna explore a little bit longer but uh, I'll be back with you later Way over there. Look at this wow all right these beautiful colors all right let's get going here we go yeah, we stopped off another little secluded spot here in terms of Caicos beautiful absolutely exploring over here so let's go see what they've found look at this this sand is just beautiful ooh no splash we're almost done with this little self tour of ours and we're gonna go back and get in this beautiful water can't wait. Look at this. It's amazing. I'm going to stop and see a couple of things. Two more things and then we're going to go back. Nate playing around the water. I right, found a little friend. Let's find a friend there, Nate. What is it? The sea snails or what? Whatever you call them. I gotta let you go. I gotta get some. I gotta get my feet in this water. I. I don't know if the other time I recorded. I was sitting there talking, talking. I don't know if I even recorded. So I'm gonna try it again here. I'll just keep which one I like if I did twice, but I was just talking about how beautiful this is and just found this beautiful little spot right here that while well, Brian and Nate are over there exploring, I thought, you know, I need a little spot for some serenity here and this is just a perfect little place for it. If you can see it all, but just a nice little cove and just sit here and water and it feels amazing, the sand feels amazing and Imagine you, I know Nadia, I know you love this uh, as much as I do, Ashwatash, uh, you love it too. This is your island. I was saying earlier that uh, I hope you get a chance to come out here. It's definitely one of those islands that uh, will forever uh, be with you. It's uh, amazing. Um, apparently, uh, I just found out today Carnival is the only cruise ship that's allowed to come here. They have an exclusive contract with the government, so you just have to take one of the... Uh, Carnival cruises out here, which is not a bad thing, trust me. It's a good thing, and uh, just enjoy all this beauty. Yeah, so beautiful. All right, I'm gonna enjoy a little bit more, and then uh, I'll be back with you guys. I think we got a couple more stops, and then uh, head back to the beach where I finally get to get to in this water. So I'll talk to y'all later. Bye. Mr. Nate, Mr. Brian, chilling here, beautiful beach. 
Got the shipwreck over here. Ugly as sin, but I guess everybody likes to come see it. So everybody just left it here. People come take pictures. Look, just look at these beaches. It's ridiculous. The beauty. All right. Talk later.